Welcome to the Younger Youth Wednesday Night Bible Study. Today, Valerie's going to teach us about one of Jesus' parables. This one is about the farmer that sows the seeds. And this comes from Mark 4, uh, verses 1 through 20. Hey, everyone. I hope you're having a great week. Um, coming to you tonight for our... Wednesday night Bible study. Um, we are we're going to spend the next several weeks talking about um, parables. So um, a few weeks back, we um, we read and we talked about why Jesus taught in parables. And so now we want to um, to kind of dig into and study the different parables that Jesus shared. Um, um, while he was teaching. So before we get started tonight, um, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear God, I thank you for this day, Lord, and I thank you for um, all your blessings, dear God. Each and every day, Lord, um, you bless us. And Lord, some days we realize what blessings we have, some days we don't, Lord. I pray, Father, that you will help us to, um, to always recognize how blessed we are to be your child, Lord. Father, I pray right now that you will clear our hearts and clear our minds, Lord. Remove any distractions that we may have, Lord. Father, I pray that you will open our hearts, open our minds to hear um, the, the words that you have for us, Lord. To hear um, um, your lesson tonight, dear God. To help us to apply it to our lives, Lord. And Father, I pray, Lord, that you will um, just help us to... Um, to desire to grow closer to you, Lord, and learn more about you, Lord, um, and also to share your word with everybody that we see, Lord. Dear God, we thank you for everything that you do in our life. We thank you, Lord, that you're so faithful to us, dear God, and that you are a good, good father. Lord, we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So the first um, parable that we're going to talk about is... Um, the parable about the farmer planting seeds. And so um, I'm going to be reading from Mark chapter 4, starting in verse um, 1, going through verse 9, and then I'm going to skip over to 13 and read through 20. It says, Once again, Jesus began teaching by the lake shore. A very large crowd soon gathered around him, so he got into a boat. Then he sat in the boat while all the people remained on the shore. He taught them by telling them stories in the form of parables such as this one. Listen, a farmer went out to plant some seed. As he scattered it across his field, some of the seed fell on a footpath, and the birds came and ate it. Other seed fell on shallow soil with underlying rock. The seed sprouted quickly because the soil was shallow. But the plant soon wilted under the hot sun, and since it didn't have deep roots, it died. Other seed fell among thorns that grew up and choked out the tender plants, so they produced no grain. Still other seeds fell on fertile soil, and they sprouted, grew, and produced a crop that was thirty, sixty, and even a hundred times as much as had been planted. Then he said, anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. Over into chapter, um, verse 13. Then Jesus said to them, if you can't understand the meaning of this parable, how will you understand all the other parables? The farmer planted seed by taking God's word to others. The seed that fell on the footpath represents those who hear the message only to have Satan come at once and take it away. The seed on the rocky soil represents those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy. But since they don't have deep roots, they don't last long. They fall away as soon as they have problems or are persecuted for believing God's word. The seed that fell among the thorn, rep, thorns represents the others who hear God's word, but all too quickly the message is crowded out by the worries of this life, the lure of wealth, and the desire for other things, so no fruit is produced. And the seeds that fell on good soil 
represents those who hear and accept God's words and produce a harvest of 30, 60, or even a hundred times as much as had been planted. So, how does this apply to us? First of all, we have to decide which person are we? Which seed are we? Um, are we that seed that has um, fallen um, into the footpath who is immediately swept up by the enemy? Um, who Who is just... just thrown out into the world um or are we that seed that is planted in the shallow soil that has rock underneath and so therefore um we may have a, a history or we may have things that that um won't allow our seed to grow or are we that seed that is um consumed by worldly things and so it's planted, but we're too focused on what's going on in the world, so we're not growing. Or are we the seed that's planted on that fertile soil that's growing um, and producing fruit? So I want you to think about that. Um, but also, I want us to um, think about um, what the purpose of this parable is. So... Jesus taught, like we had talked about before, Jesus taught parables um, for us, well, for, for when he was teaching for the disciples and the people to have something to compare it to. And that goes for us today. So as we read in God's word and we read these parables, um, we think about um, how the farmer plants the seed and um, if he plants the seed, you know, where does that seed fall and how does that seed grow? And does the seed produce fruit or does the, the seed not produce fruit? Um, and so we are to be like those farmers. We are to be spiritual sowers. So we are to go out and we are to, um, to plant those seeds. And we can't get discouraged um, because when those seeds are planted, we're going to plant seeds in those shallow, in the in the um, in the soil that's not going to that's not going to grow. Um, they're going to hear that word. They're not going to focus on it, and they're going to keep going. We're going to plant those seeds in those people that. Um, that are in the that are on the rock you know and so they're gonna they're gonna grow but then they're gonna quickly die out don't get discouraged um we are going to plant those seed for those people that are immediately on fire um and you know we're going to be excited we're going to see them and they're going to be so excited about what we've shared with them they're going to be so excited about what god's done and then they're going to start thinking about the worldly things that, they're lo that they've lost. They're not going to think about the eternity that they've gained, but they're going to think about those, um, it, it might be money. It might be that group of friends that is not a very good influence in their life. Don't be discouraged. Um, and then we're going to plant those seeds in those people that are going to grow and they are going to start producing fruit and we are going to get excited and we've got to come alongside those people and we've got to love on them and we've got to encourage them um so i say that because we can't stop we can't start planting stop planting those seeds but we have to remember that we plant the seed and then we allow god to to water that seed and to um he you know we might plant it He's going to put somebody else there that will that will water, and he will put somebody else there that will fertilize it, um, and then he might put somebody else there. So don't don't get discouraged in what it looks like when you plant those seeds, because you have done what God called you to do, and and remember Jesus talked about it right here. There are several different scenarios, and so 
as long as we're out there and we're planting that seed, um, then we're doing what God's called us to do. And the seed that you plant today that may be in that shallow soil or that may have fallen into the footpath, um, just remember that today that may, may be the case. But you've still planted that seed. And years to come, you may see that seed that you planted become in the in the fertile soil um and so i just say don't get discouraged on the on the different scenarios because you're going to see that um but we are still to be just like that farmer we're still to go out there and we're still to plant those seeds and um and then watch them grow um i also want to say this when you when you do plant a seed um the, the farmers didn't walk away from that, that seed that was planted in the fertile soil and just expect it to grow. We've got to come alongside and we've got to, to love on those people. Um, even the ones that are planted in the shallow soil, even though they're not immediately doing um, and going and growing, um, still love on them because just because, you know, maybe we need to transplant. We planted it into the shallow soil, um, but but maybe we need to transplant it over here into the fertile soil. Um, and so whenever we plant that seed, we've got to come alongside it and we've got to love on it and we've got to, um, to, to, to care for it and to nourish it and to help it um, to grow. Um, you know, there's also things in, in our lives that come along that, that try to discourage us. But, you know, we, we've just got to understand that there's different people there. There are different ways. They're going to do different things. Um, and so, you know, it, it wasn't always in my life that I was, um, that I had those deep roots. So, you know, as, as over the years, as if I have grown in God's word, my roots have grown deeper. And so we have to expect that from other people too. And we have to remember, um, where we came from. So guys, I want to challenge you to continue to plant those seeds, continue to be that, that farmer that is out there. And we are, we're spiritual farmers and we're planting the seeds of faith. We're planting the seeds of hope. We're planting the seeds of love and we're sharing Jesus with everybody that we see because that's what we've been called to do. I want to challenge you to memorize um, cha Mark chapter 4, verse 9. Then he said, anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. Um, keep sharing God's word. Don't be discouraged. There, those seeds that you plant today may not grow for many, many years, but they will grow. Um, and it's our place to plant the seed. It's God's place to help it to grow. It's not ours. So don't, don't let little things discourage you. Um, keep planting those seeds. Keep loving on the people that are around you. Um, God, will, God will water it. God will fertilize it. God will place um, other people to um, nur nurture and to help your, the seed that you planted. It'll help it to grow. I was planning on doing our lesson outside today. Since we were talking about planting seeds and planting um, and, and watching things grow and, you know, planting it in, in um, fertile soil versus not fertile soil. But the weather didn't allow me to do that. So that's why I sat here at my front door so you could see the trees behind me that, um, that God is also allowing to grow. Guys, I hope that you have a great week. Um, I hope that you will be a farmer this week. Go out, plant those seeds. Um, share the love of Jesus with everybody. You never know what impact that you're going to make with somebody that you see today. I love you guys. I hope to see you um, again soon. Take care. Thank you, Valerie, for that wonderful lesson. And I'm sure we'll hear more about the exciting parables that Jesus had taught. So if you have any questions or comments, you can always contact the church through voicemail or text at 252-446-4466. Or you can contact through Facebook, uh, Sharpsburg CC. Also, if you need to uh, join on the pastor's line to know about the upcoming events, you can text WELCOME to 252-446-4466. And this will get you on the, the um, 
communications that will let you know about the upcoming videos and, and any of the uh, events that are happening with church. Thank you and have a blessed day.